Pepe, I'll try and do do a ground hornbill call for you. There we go. It's just the one, though, everyone, which I'm very surprised about because you know that generally the ground hornbills are in families, family groups, and then when they're moving around. And just the one adult, which is very strange. I'm trying to think of the ground hornbill call. Oh, dear. How does that sound? Almost like ground hornbill. <laughs> if James could hear, I'd probably be railing around, either with laughter or in embarrassment. <laughs> now, my ground hornbill call is not very good. I do apologize. That's a beautiful, I think that's a male, judging by the that red face. Now, the light is a bit tricky. Um, the females have got... I, so, I was lying when I said it's by itself. <laughs> There's a whole group of them. <laughs> Nothing like the bush just to, just to um, humble you a little bit. So we only saw the one moving this whole way, but it was obviously just trying to catch up with the rest of them. But they're sitting in the tree now. We should get a lovely view of them. Hold on a second. And just try to get this light in a better position for us. Uh, now they've just gone back down. Uh, the ground hornbills, everyone, very, very shy. Birds, they do move away from the vehicles quite a lot, but wonderful to see a group. Um, incredibly rare and endangered birds. That's why we always get so excited when we see the ground hornbills, the southern ground hornbill. But um, yeah, unfortunately they've moved off now through that long grass looking for food. So what they do is they walk around through this long grass looking for any reptiles or insects that they that they can find. Oh, now speaking of rare birds and birds that we like to see, Ali's managed to find an owl that I was looking for earlier.